most people have headaches from time to time. But sometimes, headache occurs daily. If headache is not caused by specific underlying disease, it is called primary headache. For example, if young healthy woman has daily headaches it is primary, but if a person has stroke and he also suffers daily headaches caused by stroke, it is not primary headache anymore. It is called secondary headache. When we speak about frequent headaches, we usually mean primary headache. If headache occurs more than 15 days a month for at least 3 months, it is called chronic headache. Most common cause of primary chronic headache are Migraine and tension headache. Commonly primary headaches lasts more than 4 hours per day. Migraine typically is, one side of head, unilateral, pulsatile, and moderate to severe, and may or may not have an aura. While tension headache more commonly are bilateral or both side of head, non-pulsatile, and lack associated symptoms. Paracranial tenderness is often found on palpation. Which means pain or discomfort when an affected area is touched around head. Frequent intake of analgesics also can cause chronic headache. So, it's important to restrict overuse of analgesics. Withdrawal of analgesics typically worsens these headaches. Chronic headaches occur in 1% to 4% of the entire population. And it is more common among females. Secondary chronic daily headaches include medication overuse, CNS infection, CNS hematomas, intracranial tumor, raised intracranial pressure, low pressure headache, vasculitis, aneurysms, and cerebrospinal fluid leak. Treatment. In case of migraine, prophylactic pharmacologic treatment should be used. First-line therapy includes beta blockers, anticonvulsants, and antidepressants. The most commonly used medications are propranolol, topiramate, and amitriptyline. The patient should be counseled that high caffeine intake, sleep deprivation, overuse of analgesics. Botulinum toxin A is a food and drug administration approved treatment for chronic migraines and is considered second-line therapy. Monoclonal antibodies that target calcitonin gene-related peptid is used for chronic migraines, which have failed to respond to other treatments. For chronic tension headache, amitriptyline, a tricyclic antidepressant, is recommended as the first-line treatment for chronic tension headaches. Tricyclic antidepressants increase the risk for cardiac arrhythmia, and patients should be screened for cardiovascular disorders before initiating therapy. In addition, patients over 40 should undergo an ECG. Anticonvulsants, such as topiramate and gabapentin, can be considered a second-line treatment. Behavioral therapy, including cognitive behavioral therapy, biofeedback, and relaxation techniques, is particularly helpful for patients with coexisting anxiety or depression. Patients may experience withdrawal symptoms of nausea and anxiety for 2 to 10 days when the analgesic medication is discontinued. There is no consensus on the most appropriate medication for bridge therapy following discontinuation of the offending drug. Long-acting NSAIDs, prednisone, dihydroagotamine, and antiemetics are options. The medication should not be from the same class as the offending medication. Medications that may be effective for prophylaxis include topiramate, amitriptyline, valproic acid, and beta blockers. The choice of medication should be based upon comorbidities and the primary headache disorder. Exercise, prophylactic medication regimen compliance, and cessation of overused medications tend to lead to a favorable prognosis.